Hi guys, it's Hexer. What's up? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you alternatives that you can use in Linux, uh, just the same as Windows, like MSN, uh, Office 2007, and like webcam stuff, and like um, Adobe Photoshop. All right, we're gonna find alter. I'm gonna show you alternatives that you can use in Linux that is free and open source that you don't have to pay for that just works just the same it, it would in Windows. All right, let's get started. First, we'll go up to applications here. Under internet or graphics, sorry, we'll start at graphics. You'll see GIMP uh image editor. That is what the alternatives for uh, what the alternative is for Linux, um, GIMP image editor. I love it. Uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, I think it's actually easier to use than Adobe Photoshop, but many of you may not think it is. Um, definitely a plus. You install Ubuntu 9.10 or the latest. It it will come with GIMP. I think uh, with the latest. I'm not sure though. But 9.10, it definitely comes with GIMP. Uh, that is the alternative for Adobe Photoshop. Now for internet, uh, you your web browser that you're not going to use for like, uh, okay, like Internet Explorer that's in Windows, you'll be using Firefox or if you want Google Chrome, you can get that too or whatever that suits you the best. But I love Firefox, so and Firefox does come with Ubuntu out of the box when you install it. Uh, definitely a, a good browser. I love it. Uh, aim, you know it's like AMSN and Empathy. These two are your uh, clients. Now Empathy comes with Ubuntu and I love Empathy. AMSN, I use AMSN when I can't get people's links and I can't use webcam over MSN and such. So uh, AMSN works with pretty much everything. Empathy, what I like about it is that it runs multiple clients. So now it will run like Facebook chat, it will run like MySpace chat, MSN, Yahoo, pretty much everything. So that's definitely a plus. I definitely recommend Empathy. Uh, I've used another one that you could use is Pigeon, and uh, I think Pigeon works exactly the same too. Uh, I've always used Empathy. Uh, I love Empathy, so I'm going to stick with that. Now, um, for Office, now this is the alternative for Office 2007. You could use Obi Word, which is free, and you have to download that in Ubuntu Software Center. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that the uh, AMSN, you have to download that as well. That does not come with Ubuntu. Um, both of those don't. AMSN and uh, AbiWord. Um, OpenOffice Presentation Spreadsheet Word Processor. Those are all free. Yeah. You can use them in Windows too. So, um, you can use them both ways. I think they're for all platforms. So, uh, Open Office and Obby Word definitely a plus, so um, you could use those. Um, now for sound and video for the webcam, I use Cheese Webcam Booth, and uh, this was request. Uh, this was recommended to me by the uh, the Linux Wiz Kid, and uh, he uses it for his videos on YouTube. Uh, I love uh, cheese. Cheese, you can use it for your your uh, USB or the one in your laptop. Like me, I use it for the one in my laptop. You can uh, add effects. You can take pictures and you can record. So really nice. Love it. Uh, like it says, fun graphical effects. See, you can mess around with that. Um, for this video that I'm recording right now, I am using GTK Record My Desktop. Definitely a great uh, program for GNOME. I love it. Uh, 
you can record from your USB webcam or for your from your desktop. So you got two ways to record, which is pretty nice. And you can add whatever you want frames per second and edit all those. Definitely really awesome. So those are for recording with webcams and messing around with webcams to test out webcams use cheese that's what I used if you're having troubles find finding a good webcam try uh, checking out the uh, Logitech brands and the um, Microsoft uh, webcams because I know this week in Linux a YouTube user he uses that in um, he uses the Microsoft one in one of his videos and it looked really nice so uh, you could try those out and if they're not working just return them until they do work for you uh, so that's about it for that and for Windows programs I forgot to tell you that too uh, wine you can use wine to emul or to run your Windows programs. some of them not all though so just so you know that and that's the biggest problem right now is it can't play everything so you you can't get mad at that either they're trying they're really trying their hardest at this getting it working for you for everything so just wait for the bugs to be fixed and everything and then we'll, they'll eventually get it working so wine definitely a way to use it for running your Windows programs, games, Call of Duty, uh, I run Diablo 2, uh, Perfect World, Perfect World. So uh, those are the games I have for now. I haven't installed any more because I don't really have the time to do that right now. But um, overall, MSN, AMSN you can use for MSN. Empathy, which is a multiple uh, inst instant messaging client for multiple ones. Your web browser is Firefox, so you're not using Internet Explorer. Personally, I think Firefox is more secure than that. Um, for your graphics, Adobe Photoshop. Instead, you're using GIMP. Uh, GIMP, I think, is a lot better and easier to understand. So, uh, and then you got Wine, that's for your, your Windows programs, not all of them work like I said earlier. Your webcams, you're going to use Cheese if you want to test it out and such and mess around with the effects and take pictures and record. GTK, record my desktop, this is what I'm using right now, and you can use it to record off USB, really awesome. So there's your alternatives. If you need any to know any other alter alternatives, let me know. Uh, post a comment. Send me your questions and a message.